Hello everyone. So I have been here for three weeks now. I've got a week left, so I'm back on the Sunday and I'm looking forward to be coming home. There is a lot of things here that I'm going to really miss, like the people and the culture. It's been a great experience to come to Nigeria and really do things that you can't do in the UK. But on the same hand, there's a lot of things here that make living very challenging. For example, the traffic is hectic. It takes you maybe 20 minutes, half an hour to go 10 miles sometimes. And the electricity can be annoying at times because you can have a power outage nearly every day. Even though it'll only last for maybe two to three minutes before they turn on the generators downstairs, it can get kind of frustrating. But generally, I've loved my time here in Nigeria and it will be really sad to leave, but at the same time, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. So the, for the past week or so, I've been quite busy. I've been doing a lot of things that I've needed to film. For example, I went to a uh, conservation centre last week, which is kind of like a national park in the UK. So they had a pathway where we go through this jungle and they had many animals there, for instance, monkeys and crocodiles and just a range of different animals there that you could see. And it, it was great to kind of just go out of the city. And I think this was only maybe five minutes out of the city and just see a completely different side of Nigeria. Last week I actually went out uh, clubbing I guess to with a few friends that I've made here and it was, it was weird because they almost try and mimic the UK kind of club scene but they do it in a weird Nigerian way. For example there are a lot of 40 and 50 year old white men here who have obviously just not got any families or their families aren't here and they're really just spending a lot of money and dancing like weirdos but the majority of women there were actually Nigerian and they're about 20 to 30 years old and a lot of them would really just approach you in a manner which was kind of weird you didn't re it felt weird because you could see old men handing women money, which I don't agree with, but oh well. I'm, not all of the women were there for that particular reason, but you could see a lot of it. Yesterday I went to an expat gathering of Nestle and we went to a beach resort. We had to take a boat journey for about 20 minutes through a almost boat graveyard where they had loads of abandoned ships and it was really cool to just see all these huge massive ships. It, the day itself was great, if you can't tell I'm, I'm a bit sunburnt but it was really nice to kind of just chill out, relax and see it and again a different side of Nigeria which almost makes you feel like you're not here anymore but you're, <laughs> you obviously are because of certain factors but it was a great day and it was really nice to kind of see all the expats interacting and get some interviews with people. I've actually been quite ill for the past three weeks. For the first week I was here I got a stomach infection which was painful and gross but and last week I actually went to hospital because I thought I had a lot of the symptoms of malaria and I haven't been taking my malaria tablet so I was quite scared but it was only a respiratory tract infection, so my lungs and my pipes were a bit gunked up. But I'm, it was a shame because I had to take a few days off work and I'm a bit behind on all of the things that I needed to get done. But at the same time, I'm 100% again and I'm back at work and I'm going to have to power through everything for the last week. Like I said, I've only got a week left and I'm going to miss it here. It is, it is great here. It's really a different culture and a different experience and something that you can't get to grips with unless you come here and I'm not gonna regret my journey here and I'm really am gonna miss the people I've met some great friends and some amazing characters and I'll miss them but at the same time I miss you guys more so I am really looking forward to getting home and being with you guys and chilling out so I'll be home in a week today, so if you want to meet up, give me a Facebook or something and we'll organise some stuff once I'm back. Alright guys, speak to you later.